quadratics, perimeter and area problems. Going back through our time in school, we keep coming across problems where we've got the area of a shape and the setup of the perimeter that we might be given means that we have two unknowns, x squared and x, and we've never been able to solve that. Now we can. So quadratics let us solve a problem where we've got both x squared and x. So here's how this one works. A piece of wire 100 centimeters in length is to be bent into a rectangle. Let x centimeters be the width of the rectangle. If there is no diagram and they are describing a shape, please draw the shape. You may not think you need to, you may feel very confident that you can picture it, but if there's no diagram and a shape was described, draw the shape. So this is my rectangle. X is the width of the rectangle. The perimeter is 100 centimeters. So what they're asking us to do is to write an expression for the area of the rectangle and sketch the graph for area over x. What are the dimensions which will give the maximum area? Now, a lot of questions might break this down into more steps. Some of them won't. Obviously, to get the area of a rectangle, you start with the area formula. If there is a formula, start with it. We need length. We know width is x. You want an expression for length in terms of x. Now, you might not necessarily need to show all this working, but just to show the thinking process, the perimeter is 100 centimeters, and that 100 centimeters is two lots of x plus two lots of the length. So 50 would be x times the length, oh, plus the length. So the length is 50 minus x. So I probably wouldn't need to show all this working. It's quite self-evident how we get that. But you want an expression for the length in terms of x, 50 minus x. Obviously, you know, half the rectangle is 50. This is x. This is 50 minus x. Then we write that expression following on from here. x outside of 50 minus x is my area. Now you could expand this out, and if we did, we'd get area equals x, uh, 50x minus x squared, which you can see is a quadratic with a concave down parabola because negative x squared. But actually, you'd want this factorized because that will give you your x-intercepts. So you might as well leave it factorized. So, uh, excuse me. Let the area equal 0 because the area takes our y value. And we want to be finding our x-intercepts. x equals 0 or 50 minus x equals 0. So x equals 0 or x equals 50. Now what this is, is it's basically the outside limits of the width of this rectangle. Theoretically, you could make a rectangle that was 0 width and 50 long, or you could make a rectangle that was 50 width and 0 length, because you'd have to go up 50, down 50. It's technically still a rectangle, and those are the outside edges. Okay, yes, it's also a line of our rectangle. So then we sketch the graph for area over width x. And of course, you will need to find the values of your turning point, because your turning point will give you the maximum of this graph, which will give you the maximum area. Now, this one's dead easy, because you can see it's going to be a square of 25, 25. But the questions do get harder. So here is 0. Here is 50, this is x, width, which is width in centimeters. If you know what it is, we say what it is. At 25, we'll have our turning point. 
So you substitute that into the formula. Area is 25 times 25. Area is 625. Let me check that. It's early in the morning. Yes. So my turning point is at 625. Sketch your parabola. This is area in centimeters squared. And now your final question is, what are the dimensions which will give the maximum area? So you can see that it's 25 and 25, but we technically only have the x. Um, so if x is 25, length, go back to our length formula, is 50 minus 25, which equals 25. Therefore, a square of side length 25 centimeters will give the maximum area, and you might as well say what it is, even though technically the question didn't ask of 625 centimeters squared. So your approach when you tackle these problems is generally draw a diagram if it's required, if there's a shape involved. Get your two variables in terms of x. You want a factorized form of the equation, so you might as well leave it there. Find the x-intercepts from your factorized form. Find the turning point, as you always would, and use that information to answer it. The question won't always end up with a square for these um, types of length problems, because sometimes we'll add some more complexities into it as well. So you need to work out what's happening based on the scenario you are given.